Hello guys, who here back with another video. This time around we are on the uh, well, we're not on the PTS server, but we got the PTS notes and I will also be making a video kind of explaining what I've figured out with the new gardening update and well, I said it there, but it is the new gardening update coming uh, as it is right now as I'm recording this on Friday the 10th. Uh, we do have it on the uh, PTS server, so uh, go check it out if it's still up. I'm not sure, but uh, either way, it's going to come to uh to the pc or well basically well the pc and hopefully also the consoles very very soon as of right now we don't know when the uh actually the uh, battle battle real re battle real update is coming to the consoles so hopefully it be before we get this who knows but anyways that's not really the point the point is that we got the gar we are gonna get gonna get the garden update uh and i'm gonna go over all the patch notes there's a lot of stuff and again check out the video i am gonna do on the pts server kind of explain it more visual instead of just reading uh what is going on and of course if you like these videos make sure you guys like and sub Scribe. So let's jump into them. Also, I gotta say that, of course, this is linked in the description as always, so you can go check it out if you want to. So it's because it's gonna, probably going to be a uh, kind of a long video uh, because there's a lot to cover. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, make sure you check out the uh, the description for that. Anyways, uh, first of all, gardening gown now goes to 300, uh, which means the skill of it is going to be 300. That's probably some mastery in there. Uh, usually they are. Uh, because now it's 250, all benches are 250, but now it's going to be 300 for gardening. So I think when you're going to rework, maybe rework the other things, uh, it's going to be that. Uh, you know, that's going to be 300 for all of them or uh, something like that. Uh, just to people that already have max it, it's going to be like a little bit more to uh, gain there. So the gardening bench has been renamed to anti quartz gardening bench basically if you have uh, the gardening bench now in somewhere they are reworking the gardening bench so the, the old work gardening bench won't work and you'll not be able to craft them so craft it now actually and place it in your cornerstone or on your uh, in your club because that's going to be a legacy uh, item and it, it's not that you can use it for anything but you know uh, as a dragon crucible was something and, and stuff like that it's not going to be a, a high value item but i'm just saying if you want the old crafting bench you can craft it now and put it in your uh, cornerstone and club world basically because there's going to be a new gardening bench and it can be crafted in the builder's crafting bench and you can also craft it in the old crafting bench basically the only thing you can do in the old crafting bench is craft the new uh, benches and stuff like that there's in there it has like five items or something like that so it's just going to be like kind of saying oh if some like old people uh, old people if some old players come back and uh, say hey what is going on with gardening well it's basically going to try to kind of put people in the right direction of the, what is gardening now so that's basically it uh, the requirement for original gardening recipes uh, has now been shuffled. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I think it may be that uh, some some stuff is now have more requirement and some has less, but I don't really know what that's all about. But unripped compost herbs has now been renamed to unripped. Uh, rip uh, fertilizer herbs for reduced confusion. And why it's now not compost as it uh, usually are the the ones you put down for rich fertilizer or get rich fertilizer out of right now it's called compost uh because there's some there's actually a composting bench that i'm actually also going to talk about in the pts uh well, well here as well but in the pts video as well uh new type of plants has been added to the gardening bench at gardener level so garden leveling is uh, i think it's like the third or level or fourth level or something like that that's where it basically starts getting into all the new stuff so all this old stuff is going to be able to be crafted uh so nothing is changing there. they're not taking anything out they're just adding more basically uh and well, the new stuff is going to be the awesome stuff. <laughs> vegetables, uh, vegetables like uh, cube bark, unicorn chard, and totter tarts uh, contain vegetables when harvested. Uh, basically, these are some of the new 
plants you can har uh, place down just like the old ones, but uh, a little bit different. Uh, vegetables uh, can be watered and at the watering sink to before become food and used in recipes. So basically there's a, a bench that change them all into food and I haven't got into that yet in the PTS video, uh, but it's I think it's pretty uh, straightforward. I think it's gonna be like the buffs like we saw preview. I've done that earlier uh, way earlier on the on the channel we did did uh, the um, St. Patrick's, uh, basically the event there, they had a preview of what's going to go on. We got some, some, some magic find, which is awesome. Uh, I think there's also going to be other buffs you can actually have now. So uh, again, haven't gone into it, but maybe something to like more attack speed or more physical damage or more magic damage or something like that. That's at least what I think it's going to be like based on what I know from other games. So nothing I've tried on the PTS server yet because I haven't gone that far on the PTS server. I wanted to get these videos done and sent to you guys so you guys could go over all of these. Already a lot of information I feel like going in, into this basically. So yeah. Next thing is the uh, price decoration vegetable or bombs can be skinned now found rarely. Uh, but when harvesting vegetables, a vegetable, I know there's a new word vegetables, but it's basically just crops and stuff like that. And it shows a lot easier on in the PTS server. So hold out for that one for sure. Uh, alchemy plants, alchemy plants can contain craftable materials, harvest alchemy plants recipes can be found in bubble pots. And when it, uh, it's open, uh, or when opening compost herbs, uh, so bubbling pods, uh, they also say that, uh, I think they, actually say it down here so let's just hold on to though but bubble pods is is something new uh, alchemy seeds can be crafted at the garden bench when once learned and found rarely through bubbling pots or opening compost herbs uh, alchemy plant seeds and recipes can be composted uh, for the fraction of its uh, materials that would be granted from uh, harvesting this plant so basically you can uh, if you made a mistake you can you can basically get it back Okay, so here is the bubbling pots, and the bubbling pots can uh, pots can rarely be rarely found. And breaking grass, so grass we go all the, we are all over the place. We have grass and harvesting vegetables and uh, alchemy plants. So when you are basically alchemy plants, there is a chance of these bubbling pan, uh, pots. And bubbling pods are I'm probably gonna just call them bubbles. Bubbles uh, are now new kind of pinatas. So it's a, basically a pinata that pops out of the grass. When you throw it, it grows into a blast flower, pops them and receiving like uh, recipe seeds, golden, even golden watering cans because you, uh, there's there are three different kind of plants. So basically it's just a pinata uh, that you, you also get some of them from, uh, what's it called, from some of the batches. There's some new batches and stuff. We get to that later in the video. Um, but there is a few, what would you call it, uh, things that, it's just a, pin, it's, it's basically a gardening pinata basically uh i they don't really look like pinatas but uh, it, it kind of works like pinatas um a writable pop pod man is rarely dropped from throwing those uh, this is zero oh okay <laughs> this zero mastery mount is in mobile because no one wants to reenact the day of the uh trifling i think that's what it is okay <laughs> all right so it's just a mount you can't move on or Sounds great. <laughs> These new vegetables and alchemy plants require watering uh, at times and uh, time to grow. So we saw a few in the preview. Uh, it basically took some time. You had to, uh, well, back then you had to throw some stuff at it. But here is just a watering can. And we're going to talk more about the watering cans later on. But the watering cans are just, uh, basically you have to tend to the flowers like you would do in real life, basically. Um, next is after watering plants require some time to soak up all the before they can expect more water becoming and or become uh, uh, harvestable so uh, as we saw in the preview it was like uh, we planted a seed uh, every hour it didn't reset when you did it so you could do like let's say five minutes before the top of the hour uh, when of course the uh, challenges starts and stuff like that and then you could do it five minutes after but then you have to wait until it reset again so it didn't go after uh, your clock it went after uh, well everybody's clock if you know what I mean so 
uh, no matter how you did it, it's always going to take you five hours to do. Uh, so you had to tend to it five times and then the sixth time you had to, uh, you could basically harvest it. But then it also lasted for three days. So even though uh, it took like maybe half a day, you would, and again, um, it's kind of, it's kind of funny because uh, as long as you are attending your flower, it doesn't wither. But after you are completed your, uh, and I'm doing like quotes, uh, completed your flower, it basically starts weathering. After three days, it's going to be basically uh, gone. But you can harvest it every hour, so you get a lot more out of stuff than you would. It takes a little bit longer, but you get a lot more stuff out of it over time. Uh, again, it's maybe a little bit other way. The other way was maybe faster, but this is like more in act with real life, you can say it like that. Anyways, um, next thing is the different plants require different amount of water before becoming harvestable. For example, cor corn on the uh, cube uh, plants require four units of water while uh, quartetums, I think that's like tomatoes plants, requires one unit of water. And here is the watering cans. There is also different kinds of watering can. There's a water can. This is the craftable one. That's really, uh, that's the one you would uh, probably use the most. Uh, the other ones can be more efficient, I guess. But yeah, this consumes uh, one unit of water uh, by nearby plants, craftable at the gardening level. So yeah, that's really high. Next is the everlasting watering can. This watering can is not consumable. Uh, is not consumable and grants one unit of water to nearby plants, craftable at the basically the highest level. And then you got the golden watering can. This is con this consumable watering uh, watering can uh, completely fills uh, the watering requirement of nearby plants. So this is basically like the the super super watering can, which can only be found in those. Uh, uh, pod, so it's not a craftable one. It's like, hey, nice, you got the better watering can. So the everlasting and the normal water can is the ones you're gonna basically use. And I would say probably the everlasting is of, of course better than the regular uh, one, depending on how much you want to do and stuff like that. The next one is the new dragon, and uh, the dragon is called Warden of the Fields, and it it's also the newly gro uh, growth in. Gardening the new dragon can be crafted in the crucible. Uh, I'll also do a video on that one uh, But the blue blossoming dragon fragments and you can be obtained by using a dragon effigy if you want to do that uh, or uh, it, You can also find it in a golden uh, Golden egg, so that's not the only way there's fragments to it as every other dragon But it can be used as an, uh, an effigy or you can also get it uh, basically buy the golden egg on the market or open itself in greater dragon caches So if you want to do the freeway, <laughs> there is blossoming dragon egg fragments can be found inside these uh, pinatas basically and uh, as far as I know you need a hundred of them so far I don't, I'm not sure I haven't checked it out But uh, I, like I said, I will make a video on showing like the full recipe and stuff like that uh, But yeah, this is also uh, Can all they can also be composted into quality organized organized uh, Refuse so those uh, I'm going to talk more about later on sunlight bulbs uh, moonlight bulbs Sorry can be found all over trove and geode these bulbs contain power of the moon goddess into harvestable resource, but watch out, the moon goddess does not take kindly on falling into the hands of Trovians and will remove them from your bags when you go offline for more than an hour. So it's not like this is not a resource that actually is going to be sustainable. So that's actually kind of awesome. You actually have to go out there, farm these moonlight bulbs and actually uh, actually use them and they're used for uh, some kind of uh, they used like uh, everything else uh, where you find them I am not a hundred percent sure I haven't found anyone any yet uh, but uh, I'll of course talk about that at some point if I know where they are found but uh, they're used for a few recipes and, and whatnot but uh, I think they work exactly like the sunlight bulbs and maybe it has something to do with the day and night cycle, actually, of Trove. I am not sure uh, since we do have that, but um, how it exactly works, I'm not sure. I haven't, uh, like I said, uh, but again, if you find some, you have to use them right away anyways. <laughs> All right, so that was the new bench. Uh, basically, you also have a harvesting bench. And the harvesting bench is uh, also be, uh, you know, crafted at the gardening level. These uh, also you can uh, craft it in the uh, 
uh, all crafting bench basically. Uh, gardening level gardening is required to interact with the garden. So um, you can craft it, the bench, but what it says right here is that you need the skill level of gardener. So again, I think it's 150 or something like that, uh, the exact amount of skill you need before you can do that. So you have to do all the old stuff. Uh, if you already have it, if you're already like 250 gardening, then you don't have to do anything uh, uh, well uh, out of basically just going from the, all the new stuff basically. But if you haven't checked it out, you gotta do like the old stuff and, and stuff like that. Or, well, kind of level the old stuff before you can get to that. The harvesting bench can also be used to craft various composters, uh, alley homes and mounts, decoration plants, farm decoration, via, uh, VFX blocks, and also frameworks. There's actually some very, very nice frameworks and I'll show that in the, uh, in the video I'm, <laughs> I've mentioned many, many times. Uh, rich fertilizer, fertilized ash, and plasma uh, solvent can also be crafted in the harvesting bench. So these are all the rich fertilizer and all the old uh, fertilizers and stuff like that that we uh, used to have uh, or are used to. Those are also in there uh, as well. Next thing is the uh, composting herbs can be uh, from the harvesting bench is a great way to get concentrated hope, uh, the moonlight temper, and also cookie mosque. Uh, so composting herbs is the new way of K basically going into all of it. And again, I suggest you watch the other video because it explains a lot better and a lot more easier way what all of these new herbs is basically. So uh, again, yeah, check that out uh, when it comes out on the channel basically. Um, so I won't talk much more about that because it's, I feel to me, it's kind of a complicated to just understand the seer process of what is what basically. That's just to me, uh, maybe you understand it. That's cool. Uh, then you basically don't have to watch that other video, but yeah, to me, it is a kind of uh, a little bit more, uh, complex, I would say. Anyways, the next is the alley homes and it's a little bit different because normally we just have a crafting bench. We uh <laughs> we, we we craft an ally or a mount or something like that but these are alley homes so basically you have to craft a home for an ally so you craft this uh, home you place it down and then you wait and then it's gonna attract normal or rare version of specific allies so there's a whole bunch of new allies and all of these are attracted differently so um it's basically a trap. <laughs> you can call it like that if you want to use that. But basically, you're trapping uh, these allies instead of just crafting them. So there is, you can get it on like, uh, I haven't sh checked it out yet, basically, but basically, you can get it right away. And then you maybe so you have to wait uh, a bunch of time. Who knows? But uh, basically, uh, again, rare versions are, of course, going to be more rare than the normal versions. So the normal versions, you could probably going to be. Uh, getting pretty easily, but basically it's I think this is very awesome that you uh, I, I don't think there's any specific you have to place it on on a specific biome or anything like that I think you just have to craft and it basically has its own system around it and, and stuff like that But I really like this a, a lot uh, um, What uh, really interactions it does say that you have to place it in club world So that's but I'm, I'm still talking about club worlds can also have specific biomes uh, and it's but it can also be shared uh, So the, the ally can actually so somebody can actually just put them down You can put down uh, some of them and you can just go check it out So if you are a m member of different clubs, you can actually maybe make an area where you can find these uh, these homes and uh, You can basically uh, just collect some allies. Um, I have no idea if these homes actually uh, disappear uh no, I, but again, you do have to have 300. So it, you're basically on the seven. It does say that you have to, uh, harvest, you have to have the skill level of 300 to harvest them some, so you can't just have other people do it for you, but they can craft it them and then you can use them together. That's what I mean. Um, but it does not say anything about these homes being, uh, basically destroyed or anything like that so i have no idea i actually gonna do some I, I think i will do some testing and uh maybe know some more about these uh, homes uh at it but anyways you have to get to the highest level anyway so then you can basically do it yourself if you want to so you don't have to be reliant on somebody else but yeah 
Anyways, next thing is the compost. So the compost is a new bench and uh, I, I'm just gonna run through this before I say anything about it because it's very, this is actually the most simple thing there is. I thought it was gonna be very hard, but it's actually the most simple thing. Um, so just let me, let me read it and then I'll talk about it. The composting bin can be crafted in the, at the gardening level, as we said, also or in the crafting bench, just like all the other benches. Uh, the composting bin can be used to craft organic fuse. That's what we uh, talked about before. Uh, from unwanted materials and non-PVP trophies. Uh, actually, trophies. Nice. Uh, I didn't know there was sort of it. Prized vegetables are also composted. Right-click the item to go to uh, how many stacks you want to compost. So we actually, you don't uh, compost all of it. You right-click it. Uh, gardening level skill is required to interact with it. So again, you need to get to that gardening level. So you can't just use other people's stuff. Uh, before you are at the same level, of course. Uh, gardening recipes composted uh, gives some of the materials gathered by plants. Uh, they can also be dug in black trolls and looted by default. Item composters is uh, metric and can be viewed uh, by typing uh, uh, type slash stats. So um, you can basically, uh, what it says, uh, how many items you can you have composted. But the point is there's also a batch for it. Uh, it's, ba it's a million. It's a, the highest one, the highest batch level is a million. So uh, when you have compost a million, you have all the batches for that. But there's new batches that I will also uh, get into. But the composting bench or bin is basically just uh, a loot collecting station. It's nothing else. It's just a loot collection. So there's not a lot of... Uh, you have to worry about it. It's pretty simple. You just loot collect. It's just a loot collect of unwanted. It says unwanted materials, which is basically bones, uh, bottles, uh, other things as well. So all these things that you basically just have a bajillion of that you normally just maybe sell because you just want to. Uh, maybe you should stack up on them now. And so you have something to uh, basically loot collect later on. Uh, if you don't need some of the materials, of course, but yeah, it's just a basically uh, you can compost basically everything in, in this one. I, I know bones and but yeah, um, I actually think I'm going to cut the video right here and divide these into two parts because we're not done yet. And I'm already on 22 minutes as of right now. So I think I'm going to cut it right here because this is basically all of the gardening stuff. Uh, it took 22 minutes to get to basically here just because there's a lot of things to cover and um, Yeah, I think it's much better if I just cut it here and then the rest of it is also something with the update But it's gonna be like more in 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 like in depth or uh, of other things basically so uh, If you like this video again, make sure you guys like subscribe. I, I said so already but uh, make sure you watch part two of what is where all so you can check it out in the description the uh, full patch notes or in the discord that I of course posted there uh, way before I did this video but uh, anyways thank you guys so much for watching part one uh, make sure you watch part two coming up